right guys, so we're gonna try something a little different today. Um, I've got a, let's see if I can get this here, uh, 2012 Hyundai Sonata um, that I'm gonna do something kind of weird to, but I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, I've got here some Sylvania light bars. I'll flip the camera around and show you these a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna put a, a light bar, a 12, actually a 10 inch, camera, 10 or 12 inch uh, light bar on my Sonata. Uh, if you look up uh, light bars on a Sonata, you're, you're just not gonna find it. So we're gonna do something a little crazy here and see if it actually works. Um, but this is just kind of like a simple install video. I am by no means a professional. I do have some wiring experience, electrical experience, but uh, really nothing much. So we'll see how it goes. I've got here pretty much everything that I think I'll need uh, for the install. I've got this nice Sylvania, it's a 12 inch slim light bar. Um, so essentially, you can see it here. Uh, what you get in the box is you've got the light bar and then some mounting hardware. Uh, and of course, um, your connection or whatever to uh, whatever you're gonna be wiring this up to. Um, I just went on to Amazon and I found this, uh, I think it's knee light, I don't know. Yeah. NI LI GHT uh, off road light bar wiring harness kit. Um, this actually comes with everything that you need. So it's got, you know, obviously some male female waterproof uh, connecting points, some extra fuses, um, the LED light bar switch, which is a built in one. I'm going to have to replace this with a 3M sticky one, um, but it feels pretty nice as well as uh, your entire wiring harness with all of your leads that you'll so need. So here's the car, I ignore the dirt. We've had a, a little bit of a snowy day, uh, but I'm thinking that I'm gonna try to actually fit it right underneath this grill here. See if I can get it right behind there um, so that it's completely stealth. Uh, we'll see how that works, of course. Gotta come into the car here and uh, pop the hood ahead and do right now there we go um, so I got to just get uh, removing some of the stuff here uh, so I can take the front part of the bumper off okay, so uh, as you can see I've got the bumper taken off you can see that right down there is where we're gonna try to figure out how to mount this bad boy. I uh, gotta take a minute to just kind of think about it. Shouldn't be that hard, but you know, ultimately we just gotta figure out a good way. So I'm gonna figure out how to mount that and then we'll- All right guys, so with a little bit of struggling, uh, I was able to get the light bar fitted. Um, you'll notice that we actually just bolt mounted it right onto this plastic uh, trimming piece at the bottom of the car here. Um, honestly, I think that that is going to be probably the best stealth position for this. It's, uh, it's dead centered and, and just looks awesome at the moment. Um, that should allow the light to just come through right here, uh, and be behind, behind the grill. So, uh, I'm going to be pushing some wires through. I'll give a little update once I'm done with that. All right, guys. So I finally kind of got everything mock wired. Uh, so we've got the light bar here. Um, which is then connected to uh, these couple of power connectors. Uh, this specific harness enables you to connect two light bars to it. Uh, I don't have two light bars, so I'm probably not gonna worry about that. I'll probably trim all this down a little bit, clean it up later. Um, anyways, wire comes up right here and it's gonna run behind the headlight here. Uh, comes up here, I've got two battery terminal uh, connectors. I'm connecting this to the battery. Uh, also, you know, I've got a fuse to protect everything. Um, I'll be shortening, making these a little bit smaller, cleaning that up. Um, then this wire, again, trying to make this as stuff as possible, this wire actually dips beneath down there and then pops out. You can see where I'm going into the firewall back there. Uh, from the firewall, you go inside. I've gone ahead and connected the switch already. Uh, which is this LED light bar. If we flip that on, you'll notice that that turns blue. And then all of a sudden, 
we've got a light bar sitting stealthy style right there. So that's so guys, pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this build. It's actually been a lot easier than I initially anticipated. Um, some of the hardest parts for me were actually just getting the light bar mounted in my car. Now, most of you who are mounting light bars are probably not even gonna have to worry about this as you'll probably have a truck or a four x four car. Um, and so it'll likely already have the mounts there for you or you can buy brackets to get those, those things mounted. Um, the other thing that really sucked was just running that wire through the firewall and just figuring out the wiring placement of everything. You know, I, I, I really appreciate a very clean look on something. And so anytime that I can make something look a lot cleaner and better, I'm going to do it. Um, other than that, this install was pretty easy. I mean, I've been maybe working on this for about an hour and a half, uh, and that's about it. So first impressions, um, I'm pretty excited. Of course, I've got to aim the light bar and make sure that everything is looking good. Uh, but other than that, I'm pretty stoked. So I'm just gonna button a few things up and then kind of show you guys a little bit more about the final hey guys, product. So the project is finalized. Uh, we've got everything put in to the car and it looks awesome. I am super excited to show you guys what it actually looks like. Um, I've got Sylvania bulbs everywhere. Um, the reason I buy Sylvania is because I trust them. Uh, I've got them in my fog lights, my headlights, my turn signals, uh, my interior lights, my brake lights, everything. Um, so guys, go check it out on Amazon. You can buy Sylvania product on Amazon uh, and it's great stuff. So here you go.